Betrayal, corruption, abandonment. These heavy words shouldn't typically be associated with the leaders of a great first world nation. But Trudeau will have you covered on that front. Stunning new allegations suggest that the highest levels of Canada's government engaged in a conspiracy that left innocent citizens stranded in a war zone. Trudeau and his then Minister of Defense diverted valuable resources to rescue a group of people that had no ties to Canada, while leaving behind many friends and families. And to make matters all worse, this whole operation was sponsored by a charitable foundation that sneakily donated to the Liberals in exchange for speeding up the process. Canadians deserve so much better than this ugly scheming and blatant disregard for citizens' lives. We must get to the bottom of exactly what happened and hold accountable every last politician who played a role in this disgraceful scandal. Starting with Trudeau, welcome back to Street Politics Canada. Before we dive into today's video, take a quick second to follow us on Twitter. You won't find the blunt truth about Trudeau's endless scandals in the mainstream media. Their liberal bias hides the real stories. But our Twitter feed breaks through the spin and cover-ups. We tweet multiple times daily, delivering straight facts on Trudeau's hypocrisy and failures. We'll leave you the link down in the description box. Tap that follow button now so you never miss our next viral tweet roasting Trudeau. Now let's dive into today's crazy developments. Nobody expects a lot when they take the chance to serve their country and fight in its name. A little appreciation and gratitude will go a long way, but Canadian soldiers are smarter than to expect an equal exchange or even several interests and benefits coming their way when they are doing their duty. They absolutely deserve more than they are currently getting, don't get me wrong, but they personally do what they do mostly out of love and their need to protect their beloved Canadian nation. It is, however, extremely concerning when your own country betrays you and leaves you to die in a foreign country as a thanks for your service, and then you find out that they were paid to waste valuable resources to rescue a specific group of people and neglect however many Canadians. It is the type of despicable act that rightfully enrages you and leads you to lose all faith and hope in your own home country. What am I talking about exactly? I am talking about recent reports that reveal the true nature of the conspiracy surrounding Trudeau, leaving behind many Canadians in 2021 during the fall of Kabul. It was shockingly revealed to all of us recently that the directors of the charitable foundation the Mamit Singh Bular that was responsible for striking a deal with Trudeau and sponsoring the evacuation and subsequent immigration of Sikhs from Afghanistan was also personally donating to the Minister of Defense at the time, Harjit Sajjan. Harjit Sajjan happens to be the man that gave the order with Trudeau's approval of course and following his instructions that focused all resources and Canadian Special Forces manpower to rescue and airlift the Sikh group from Kabul when they had no ties to Canada and there was still Canadians in need of rescuing, all while the crooked liberal minister was taking donations from the charity that claimed to sponsor their immigration legally. If that is not the clearest cut case of conflict of interest on the federal level, mixed in with your usual bit of corruption that will surely harm innocent Canadians in the way that I don't know what conflict of interest really means. Tejinder Bular, a director of the Mamit Singh Bular Charitable Foundation, made the first sizable donation to Sajjan's riding, and then several other directors and members made a couple more donations total into more than $3,000 in a month or so. Keep in mind that those records were the only ones that we have successfully tracked down. The actual amount donated could be much higher given the challenge of such a despicable and horrendous act. The press secretary for the King's Prevy Council in Canada, Joanna Kanga, has released a statement with content and excuses we are all too familiar with at this point. But she tried to approach it from an angle that is quite dumbfounding. In her own words, she thinks there is nothing to be anxious or concerned about regarding the nature or even the timings of the donations, because plenty of charities and institutions donate to plenty of politicians. So we should shut up and mind our own business because nothing is happening behind the scenes at all, actually. If she thinks these delusional excuses are enough to tone down Canadians' concerns, especially when it involves our family and friends being stranded in a foreign country just so that Trudeau could fulfill his monthly woke quota, then she should stay in her fantasy lane and let the people solve actual real-world problems. And speaking of our dear Prime Minister Trudeau, the guy who is at the top of every catastrophe and disaster concerning Canadians and their well-being, we mentioned his name a couple of times and he is target number one when it comes to people being held accountable for their misdeeds. Because at the end of the day, all reports and even leaked testimony from people within the circle of Sajan say that the orders for the military came all the way from the top in Ottawa. It was Trudeau who oversaw the foundation's deal to immigrate the Sikhs into Canada, and it was Trudeau that gave the thumbs up to abandon Canadians in Afghanistan while he is busy rescuing a group with no cultural or national ties. It is all haram, Don't touch my camera. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. You get away from me. Don't touch me again. 
This is the mission and it's coming very close, very soon. India will chatter into minimum of 15 pieces, minimum. when the Republic of India became a country. The British had their British Raj, their colonial Raj, their colonial empire over the Indus land. Where indigenous Punjab, indigenous Punjabis, the indigenous spirituality of the land, Sikhi, had its empire, had its Raj as well. <laughs> And where did that lead us in the end? Angry protests with sharp weapons that preach a message no Canadian is familiar with about issues that reside outside our borders. It led to Trudeau being humiliated and disrespected in public as he bows down to an ideology that does not concern him or any other Canadian only for that same ideology to lead to strained relations with another global superpower. Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Happy Vasaki, Joyeux Vasaki. I want to thank the Ontario Six and Gurdwara Council for organizing this extraordinary event once again today. It is always so amazing to be back at the Khalsa Day celebrations. I'm happy to be here with Ministers Kara, Ananda Sangari, and Valdez along with our great MPs, Sonia Shafkat, Ruby, Meninder, Judy, and Paul. And it's great to see so many different mayors, leaders, other parliamentarians. This is truly an occasion that gathers us uh, from across the city, from across the country, to celebrate alongside you. Marking the creation of the Khalsa, Vasaki brings together friends and family. And speaking of friends and family, I know that many of you have loved ones that you want to see more often. That's why our government has negotiated a new agreement with India to add more flights 
and more routes between our countries, and we will keep working with our counterparts to add even more flights, including to Amritsar. Vasaki, c'est l'occasion de reconnaître les valeurs qui sont au cœur du sikhisme, des valeurs comme la générosité, la communauté, l'honnêteté et le seva, le dévouement envers les autres. In April, we also celebrate Sikh Heritage Month. When our government first introduced Sikh Heritage Month five years ago, Canada became the first country in the world to recognize this month officially. It is a moment to celebrate the remarkable contributions of Sikh Canadians from the railroads to the world wars to science, art, business, and of course, politics. And as we come to an end of this year's Sikh Heritage Month, I want to remind everyone that the story of the Sikh community in Canada is, in fact, the story of Canada. This is what Canada is all about, working together to build a better future for everyone. Just a few weeks ago, we released our budget, 2024, which is a plan to build more homes faster, to hire more doctors and nurses, and to help with the costs of dental care and diabetes medications. We're also giving authorities more resources to crack down on auto theft. And we're helping sick Canadians tell your stories. We're supporting a space in the Royal Ontario Museum dedicated to sick arts, culture and heritage with an investment of six million dollars. We'll be working closely with the Sick Arts, with the Sick Arts and Culture Foundation, and this space will be created by, with, and for the Sick community. We're also giving funding to the Indus Media Foundation to complete their short film, highlighting the shared military heritage of Canadian and Indian soldiers in the world wars. But we gather here today to remember that one of Canada's greatest strengths is its diversity. We are strong, not in spite of our differences, but because of our differences. But even as we look at these differences, we have to remember and get reminded on days such as this and every day that Sikh values are Canadian values. Truth, justice, openness, compassion, service, human rights. These are the values at the heart of Sikhism. These are the heart values at the heart of Sikh Canadian communities, but they're also values at the heart of all Canadians. To the nearly 800,000 Canadians of Sikh heritage across this country, we will always be there to protect your rights and your freedoms, and we will always defend your community against hatred and discrimination. Je tiens à dire aux 800 000 Canadiens d'origine Sikh d'un bout à l'autre de ce pays, qu'on va toujours protéger vos droits et vos libertés. That's why we're enhancing the security infrastructure program, adding more security at community centers and places of worship, including in Gondwaras. Your right to practice your religion freely and without intimidation is exactly that, a fundamental right guaranteed in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms that we will always stand up and defend you for. We will stand with you once again on this wonderful day of celebrations. Happy Vasaki. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Waheguru ji ka kalsa. Waheguru ji ki fateh. Merci. And it will keep leading to problems and revelations about the true extent of corruption that the liberals operate under. All the way to the finish line where we may get a chance to avenge our families and friends and vote Trudeau out of office to never return. Well, that's all for now. What is your opinion on this latest revelation? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also subscribe to our newsletter, where we share daily uncensored and unbiased news straight to your inbox. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.